What is up guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So recently I went on a trip and I took a couple of videos um, while I was on a boat recording some uh, dolphins. And while it would have been ideal to have just the sound of the ocean and the dolphins and all of that while I was on the boat, um, and as it usually happens, you have people talking around you, a lot of um, atmospheric issue, um, conditions going on, the sound of the boat in this case as well. So I got a lot of the ambient noise, but not the noise I actually wanted. And while I'm no sound engineer or don't really have that much experience, do, or basically no experience editing sounds to isolate the dolphin noise or even have the equipment to do that, um, what I found was a way for me to um, remove the audio itself from the video so that um, I just get the raw video and it's just the video of the dolphins in the water. The quality is there while I don't have the sound. It does present a way to do another um, thing with the video in other cases. So um, as I mentioned, this is an app for um, Android and it's called Timbre. So what it does, among other things, as you can see from the um, settings menu here, is a variety of audio and uh, video applications. Um, the settings menu, which I'll get out of the way because it's relatively quick, is let you set the precision level of um, whatever you're working on and showing uh, plus and minus um, buttons if you want to help with setting specific times. Um, so let's say you have a video, like in my case, where I want to remove the audio. All you'll go do is go down to the video section. You'll touch the mute button. It'll load up any videos that you have in your um, gallery. So I'll pick a relatively short one um, to show what goes on. So it'll show you the do a preview of the video. And um, it'll let you select the saving location. This is the title of the video. So um, I'll do Tim, I'll do in this case, uh, Timbre video test, so I know exactly why I was doing it, not to confuse it with other stuff. And you can select the download location if you want anyone on your device. And then you'll just you'll push the button. It'll let you know that the audio stream is going to be removed and you're going to get a new video without the sound. So you'll hit save. It'll give you the um, progress bar depending on the length of the video and the ability of your device to... Um, let you know how long it's going to take and then you can directly open it if you want the options to open uh, how you want to open it and you can watch it from there and that is that it is ad supported so there is that which doesn't really it's not really intrusive so it doesn't really get in my way but basically you can do that and then the other thing i mentioned as far as what to do from here is let's say you're doing a, a video review out and about you're maybe doing a video blog of uh, whatever you're looking at uh, maybe you're taking a video of something in you're in lecture and you're taking a video and you want to add your own voice notes as you go um, or even after the fact or like in this case let's say it's um, I want to go back and I'm gonna do the uh, longer video that I had where it was I think four minutes or what just over almost five minutes and I want to do a video commentary as I go um, the beauty here is that you can remove the audio upload it to YouTube and add your own audio track into that YouTube video you by using the web tools so that way you can get that gauge of um, how long the timing of it the live visual cues of where you're at and all you have to do is um, upload it and you can sync accordingly um, so that's the kind of thing that um, kind of didn't really bug me, but I did have more of the background audio rather than the audio that I wanted. So I figured it's better if I just take out the video, I can upload it to YouTube and it maintains the video quality. So um, there's no issues there. I did test it up and test it out by uploading it to YouTube and um, and maintain the 4K quality of the video. So I had no um, problems there either. So there's that. I did try this join feature on the videos, but it seemed to get stuck when I was doing it, when I tried it out. So I don't know if it's just a timing thing because of the size of the videos or a device incompatibility issue or a video compatibility issue. So um, in theory, if it works, you can join various videos. You can convert videos to audio. So if you recorded a video and you just want the audio out of it, you can do that. You can create um, GIFs or GIFs. And then there's also an audio um, side of things as well. So if you want to combine audios, convert files, adjust the bit rate, um, adjust the speed, you can do that. If you want to reverse files, omit files, split them. There's all of those different things available. And then if you want a text-to-speech, you can set that up. Or a console, there's a help file if... Um, 
um, you have questions or with frequently asked questions and things like that. So maybe I'll poke around that on the video side as well if um, I have any problems or anything there. Um, but that's really all there is for the app. I wanted to share something that I found and it's, it seems like it's pretty nifty. And if you just want an easy way to remove audio or convert video or audio files, then Timbre is the way to go. And it is free, as I mentioned, in the Google Play Store. So I'll have a link in the episode guide if you are so interested. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphones, Neil, at Yahoo, or yeah, email me at headphones, Neil, at Yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And of course, you can find all links and support the show and all that good stuff at uh, PatelN01.com. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.